Hey, and welcome into Vinny Rotino Baseball Academy. This is the channel where we're breaking things down. Uh, we're breaking down swings. We're breaking down prospects in Southeast Wisconsin area, also around the country. Um, it's also free instruction, really. You try and do this virtually. You guys can send in your swings. Send them in to Vinny Rotino Baseball Academy at gmail.com. Vinny Rotino Baseball Academy at gmail.com. And I will go ahead and, and do a video of any swing that you want to be done. If you want your own swing to be done, if you want one of your kids' swings to be kind of looked at, and I can give offer some instruction. If you are going to do that, make sure you do it on the open side, directly on the side. That is the best way and easiest way to see things. Obviously, it is uh, one swing that I'm going to be able to look at, and I'll do my best with trying to help out. But um, sometimes there is things that I can say that really kind of click for players. So um, don't be afraid to send me those videos and I can, I can take a look. So that, it's a lot of fun to do. We are going to be taking a look at a player, 13 year old player uh, in Racine, Wisconsin area. He's in seventh grade. His name is Evan Northup. He's a very talented player. Uh, he is an extremely, extremely hard worker. Um, and I've been working with him for about a year in Racine here at the hitting center of the Racine baseball co-op. And he, He's just a hard worker, man, and he loves the game of baseball and the uh, advances that he continues to make on a weekly basis, but he's gotten really, really consistent in being synced up with his swing, and I'm going to explain what I mean by that, but before we do that, let me just say that this channel is brought to you by Maggie Rotino Real Estate, so make sure you are contacting my wife, Maggie Rotino, or her little brother, Ricky Kuyper. They've teamed up and they do a phenomenal job with all of their clients who are in the market to buy or sell a home. So make sure that you are hitting them up. Um, uh, Maggie Rotino and Ricky Kuyper, they are the names in real estate in Southeastern Wisconsin. Um, also brought to you by Lockdown Brewers Podcast. Dom Catronio and I are breaking things down with the Brewers three days a week. Uh, we love talking about the the team. We love talking about the Brewers. We love talking about baseball, even though there is a lockout, go lockout going on. So three days a week right now during the lockout, once the lockout ends, we'll be going to five days a week. Uh, make sure you are tuning into that and subscribing to both that channel and this channel really helps us out. But um, let's go ahead and take a look at Evan Northup. Again, just a really talented player really hard working player. So I always preach to these kids that I work with that the, the, the hardest working players are the players that are going to be the best players when all said and done. And it's true. The best players in the game are the hardest workers um, all the way up to the major league level. Right. So every level that uh, you know, obviously um, at some at the lower, lower levels, like in little league, obviously if a kid's, you know, head and shoulders, better or taller than the rest of them and shaving than the rest of the kids and stuff like that. Those kids um, do have a tendency to be better at that level. But once you go up, uh, continue to go up levels, um, I would say by junior and senior year in high school, a lot of kids kind of weed themselves out. And the ones that are the hardest workers are the ones that uh, end up kind of passing everybody by. And so that is a really valuable lesson that I continue to share and continue to message to the players that I work with. Evan's a perfect example of that. Um, obviously you can see on the top, this was a year ago in 2020. Um, and here at the bottom is 2021 and 2022 off season. So uh, he's obviously gotten bigger. Uh, the strength is still gonna, is still coming. He's already a strong kid, but it's coming. And he's very athletic. Uh, he, he moves very, very well. He's a center fielder. Um, wouldn't surprise me to see this kid go on and play at a big program in college at some point, but we'll see. I mean, he's only in seventh grade, 13 years old. So uh, this, the ability to work hard is really, really impressive. His dad helps me out. Tim helps me out at the hitting center on Friday nights. Phenomenal coach, knows his stuff. So he's got good eyes on him. Um, all the way through as well, you know, his dad and then myself as well. So, um, and then his coaches for the Racine River Dogs as well, obviously a, a very, very good program that they run uh, for the Racine River Dogs. So let's go ahead and take a look at his swing. We're going to look at the bottom swing first. Look how short and quick and strong this is. Now let's look at the top swing. This is last year. Not bad. 
just a little. So what we're going to see is a little disconnected, right, from last year to this year. And he's worked extremely hard to get there, right? So let's take a look at the bottom. Okay, he gets to a really good heel plant position. All right. And now watch how the upper body and lower body are really synced up really, really nicely. Watch on the top. And this is very subtle. Watch the top. The lower body really outraces that upper body. And he gets his hands buried behind him a little bit. And that front shoulder really is kind of trying to is flying a little bit early. And then the hands have a long way to to go to catch up and i'm just going to draw a couple circles to illustrate that front shoulder and hands and then you can see the difference in the front shoulder and hands but also take a look at that belt buckle as well okay it's just not as open this early in the sequence right um so you can see that he gets disconnected but here now so the idea is, and it's a hard concept to understand really, but it's just really kind of a concept that is important to know. Players get disconnected early in the swing at heel plant. Disconnected meaning they, they should have some hip shoulder separation. They should have some hand separation from the lower body a little bit, but then they get reconnected. So it's disconnected, reconnected, and then they get disconnected again after and through contact. Uh, Evan on the top here gets disconnected and then he really struggles up top here to get back to connected and, and ends up, you know, the lower body and everything. It kind of outraces the upper body. Just call that being just out of sync a little bit. And so you can see here, he is ready to throw these hands. Imagine a, 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 um, a medicine ball is in his hands and he's just going to throw it as hard as he can forward. Imagine a medicine ball here is in his hands. He's going to throw it forward he's just gonna it's just gonna take a ton more effort he explains to me all the time now that he feels like it's totally effortless he can get to pitches on the inner part of the plate outer part of the plate doesn't matter and that is a good feeling when you know that you can attack pitches on the inner part of the plate not have to cheat to get there and worry about him up here at the top he definitely had to do that he definitely had to feel he was it was looking like his barrel, his brain told his barrel, where are you barrel? And then his hand, his top hand would kind of try and race to get there. It, it resulted in a lot of ground balls resulted in a lot of poor contact. What we ended up doing to get him here into this spot was we ended up telling him and we kind of restricting his lower half. And what I told him to do is take the carpet, pretend like you're spreading the carpet out with your, with your heels on the ground, with your feet firmly planted on the ground, push your knees out, push everything, pretend you're, you're splitting the carpet, ripping it and uh, ripping it apart with your lower half. And then just go ahead and keep, and then keep that position and go ahead and fire those hands uh, and so that drill, he does it about 10 times every day just to kind of warm up and it gets him back to synced up. And it's a thing of beauty now. He is feeling really, really confident with this move. He, he <clears throat> explains to me every once in a while, he still gets a little bit out of sync in which he just simply goes back to that drill. So he's found something that has really worked. And you can see as, as uh, we're illustrating here, the hand, it's not a lot, right? His hands and his front shoulder and everything are kind of lagging behind that turn in that lower body, you can see that the, the lower body, that the belt buckle is all the way turned through down here. <clears throat> There's still some turn left and his hands are out in front of him a little bit more. And he's ready just to fire this, these hands through the ball and watch, watch how he stays through this ball. Now he explains to me too, that he's, so you can see here at the top, he really trying to muscle that barrel to get, to get it there. And he's catching that ball just a hair deeper than right here, where he's a little bit more out in front. Uh, and again, he explains to me how he feels like he can be late and still barrel this, these balls up and stay through them. Look at that. It's a thing of beauty how he stays through with that top hand and, and just really drives through it. Whereas here you can see he's really trying to turn it over and, because he was trying to get the barrel there. So just staying through the ball phenomenally well. And uh, just a really, really great job by Evan. Um, you know, I kind of talked through a little subtlety there, but you, when you watch this kid hit from last year, this year, it is night and day different. And it's very, very impressive. And he is um, just, 
just a tireless worker. And, and what I tell kids too, is when they work this hard, and I use Evan as an example, and I call him out right in front of all the other kids. I said, when you work this hard as Evan does, stuff begins to click a little bit easier, right? You may struggle, and he did last year. He really struggled with trying to find it uh, and trying to find that synced up feel. And honestly, I didn't know really how to attack it either. I actually told him to go the other way. I told him to start firing the lower half and restricting the upper body. So I probably made the problem worse. But that's what's so hard about coaching and what's so hard about this game is that it's hard to know exactly what's going to get a player to click or what how each player's body moves. So you just kind of use a lot of trial and error with these kids and you eventually get there. And he got there. And I think he's going to use this feel. He's going to use this drill probably for the rest of his baseball career. And it's going to help him. Um, he's synced up now. He, the upper and lower body are working extremely well together. He's through the baseball uh, this one's going to be a fun one to follow, and he's been an absolute joy to work with, as well as his dad, Tim, helping me out coaching. So they've both been just absolutely phenomenal. They both love the game. It's always fun to to help and to coach kids and, and work with dads who absolutely love the game. So that's been a blast. So anyway, thanks for tuning in. That was Evan Northup. Make sure you pay attention to him. Probably play in the big league someday. All right, have a good one.